Hi, and welcome to BlueCotton.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can use templates in our design studio to create your own customized screen printed tees in a matter of minutes. So we're going to go into the uh, design ideas uh, link up here at the top bar. And uh, say we're going to do some uh, homecoming uh, t-shirts for uh, our imaginary high school. Uh, it's homecoming season, so it's not too far out of the question. And I like this one here. It's simple. I like kind of the layout of it and how the mascot's clear on, clearly on the front. So I'm going to select this, this shirt here. And we'll click on Customize This Design. So this will open you up into the Design Studio. If you're not familiar with this Design Studio, it's a really great user interface for uh, simply just laying out your shirt design, uh, modifying text, uh, adding or removing clip art, uploading your own designs. Well, what I'm going to do here is show you from this uh, template that we've started off with how you can basically uh, modify it quickly and within minutes have a, a great customized shirt uh, with your um, your own information on it. So uh, so what I'm going to do first is uh, change this. Let's say the city is uh, Boonville. And then we'll click done. And then, uh, as you see, it's kind of centered on the shirt once you edit it. Let's drag it back out of the way. And we're the bears, so let's change this to bears. Okay. So now that we've got that done, the year is obviously not 2008. Let's go ahead and edit that text to 2010. And uh, let's say we're not doing a homecoming game, but we're doing a uh, homecoming dance. So let's change that to dance. Okay, nice, nice and easy, right? That's pretty simple. Um, obviously, we've got some layout work to do, and uh, we still need to change our mascot. Um, so let's do that first before we line our text up. So let's click on our lion here and get rid of it. Go into our clip art. Uh, and as you can see, we've got quite a large selection of clip art, and we're constantly adding to this. Um, so if you want to look for a bear, you can either select under mascots, look for bears and find it that way, or you can type bears up here in the search bar and it'll find bears quite easily. Okay, so let's, uh, let's scroll here to find a bear that we like. Since we're not using a real mascot, um, we'll just pick one that we, we think looks good. And I kind of like this, uh, this bear right here. So let's choose it. Okay. Now, this bear looks great. Um, I like to do a couple things to kind of make it pop a little bit more. Let's change the uh, the outline here or the uh, fill of this bear to a darker gray than our text. Um, this light gray would make the, the letters blend into it. So this way we have a, uh, an, a different color that'll help make the text pop. So let's move it into position here and uh, change our overlap to where uh, we move it backwards. And now our bear is uh, pretty close to being in place. Now, as you can see, we still need to do a little rearranging of our of our uh, the rest of our text to make sure that it lines up well. Let's go ahead and line up our uh, our text here on our shirt. Um, a new feature in our design studio is grouping. You no longer have to move everything one at a time. You can click and drag and highlight multiple items and uh, move them together. So let's go ahead and do that with our Boonville Bears text. Move it into place, and uh, and then you can just click individually on Bears and move it. Now for the 2010 and uh, homecoming dance, we'll have to uh, drag those down individually um, so they don't grab the bear in there too. And let's pull it right here into place where we like it. Okay, so the homecoming dance, uh, I'd like to do something with the uh, with the font, get something a little a little nicer, a little bit more elegant since it is a homecoming dance. So let's go into our font selection here and uh, find a more script-like font. And uh, I think florist looks nice. Um, and as you can see when we put it in, it's a little small, so you can just drag to make it bigger. Uh, no need to worry about numbers. Uh, this will keep proportionate, and you can, uh, you can see it makes it a little bit easier to read if you just drag it out. Real easy to do. Now that our design is laid out and in place, um, another thing we can consider is if our school colors aren't red, we can change the shirt color to a different, um, a different color without uh, having to start over. Now just click on edit color and you can open up a window here where you can select between uh, all the different colors that this type of garment offers. So let's, let's select navy. Um, and it looks nice underneath that gray text. Another thing you can do is uh, edit the type of garment. In case you want something short sleeve or uh, a sweatshirt or something different, you can easily go in, change it, and uh, customize the type of garment you want uh, right here inside the design studio. And then test it out on the shirt and, uh, and choose exactly what you want. So a couple other things I want to highlight um, 
uh, that you can do. Uh, uh, one of them is uh, you can actually zoom into your shirt uh, by scrolling up here in your zoom bar and uh, you can see your design better and preview it. You get a better look at it when you're working on it. Uh, another thing, if you uh, click on your bear icon here, it'll open up a little control pane and you can see that you can flip uh, our bear. Let's do that so our bear's not facing in into the text and he's facing outward. I think that looks a little better. Um, so you can easily flip vertically, horizontally, align it to the center. You can also do some sizing and rotation controls here. So this is a nice, a nice tool. Now let's click on our bears. I want to show you, you can use outline. If you have a secondary color you want to highlight on your text or separate from the background a little bit, you can select outline and then uh, choose a color for your outline. Let's say orange is your secondary color. And then you can change the thickness. As you can see, it doesn't work uh, super well with our, uh, with our current font, but you get the picture that you can separate your text from the background and provide a nice a secondary color by using the outline. Uh, you can also uh, use drop shadow here um, by uh, changing the color to uh, to black and or whatever color you like and you can use that also as another way to separate by dragging around our bulb here. It's a nice easy to use uh, feature but we don't really need that for our design. It The color pops pretty well as it is uh, being gray on, on blue. So that's about it. We've customized our shirt with our own uh, city and mascot and uh, changed fonts, showing you how to do some pretty basic stuff. All that's left is for you to select your sizes and place your order. Uh, it's as simple as that. Um, stop by our bluecotton.com design studio and uh, give it a try.